And now a cute little figure called the chicken roll. Could also be called the swivel pop combo. Looks like this. We start in a single hand hold and we have one, two, three, four, and two, two, three, and four, three, two, three, four, and one of the next pattern. Let's take another look. We have one, two, three, four, and two, two, three, and four, three, two, three, four, and one of your next pattern. And let's begin the man's part with our timing. We start sidestep right, one, two, three, four, and two, two, three, and four, three, roll, two, three, turning four, and next pattern starts with one to set up your next figure. And now leaders, your foot positions. Starting on your left foot, we sidestep to the right, forward crossover break, left replace right, Side chasse, left together. From here, we're going to swivel to the left foot, swivel to the right foot, swivel and point the left foot. Replace weight to the left, cross over with the right, side step left. Hip roll, putting your back right pocket out and around, side step right, close left foot to the right, and start your next pattern with a side step on the man's right foot. Let's try that again, this time from this angle. We have side right, crossover break, left, replace right, side chasse, left together. Swivel left, swivel right, point left with a swiveling action. Replace to the left, right foot crosses in front, side step left. Pop your right hip back and around in a clockwise circle, right foot to the side, left foot together, right foot to the side to begin the next pattern. And now the man's footwork. We have ball flat of the right, ball flat of the left with pressure on the ball of the right foot, ball flat right, ball flat left, ball flat right, ball flat of the left with pressure on the ball of the right foot, ball flat of the right with pressure on the ball of the left foot, pointing left foot, so all of our weights on the right foot, then ball flat of the left, ball flat of the right as we cross over. Ball flat of the left, putting both feet flat as we roll our hips from right to the left. Now we're completely on the left foot with inside edge of right foot weighted. Ball flat of the right, ball flat of the left as we turn. Starting your next pattern, ball flat of the right. Now ladies, for your timing, we have one, two, three, four and two, two, three, and four, three, two, three, four, and one of the next measure. Now for the ladies' foot positions. We have side left, forward right, replace left. Side right, close left, forward right. Forward left, pull back, pointing right. Forward right, forward left, side right. Hip roll with pressure in the left foot, back left and around to the right and finishing on the right foot. Left foot side, right foot closes, and left foot side. Let's take a look at that from another angle. We have left foot side, right foot forward, left foot replaces. Right foot side, left foot closes, right foot forward, left foot forward, right foot pointing while left foot pulls back, right foot forward, left foot forward, right foot side. Hip roll from the back left corner to the right and onto the right foot and a free spin side left, right foot closes and left foot side to finish. Now for the ladies footwork. We have ball flat of the left, ball flat of the right, ball flat of the left, ball flat right, ball flat left, swiveling on the ball of the left foot, ball flat right, swiveling on the ball of the right foot, ball flat left, pointing the right foot, ball flat right, ball flat left, ball flat right. 
in the hip roll, there's pressure into the ball of the left foot and then dropping down the heel, going back to the flat of the right foot. Ball flat left for the turn, ball flat right, and ball flat left to start our new figure. And now let's learn to lead the chicken roll. Starting a single hand hold, we have a crossover break to begin. One, two, three, four, and picking up the palms of both hands. At this point, gentlemen, you're gonna use your right ball of your foot to swivel, and as you do, you wanna increase the pressure inside the left to right connection. So we're increasing that pressure to swivel us. As we complete our weight transfer from the swivel, we're going to start to build up more pressure in my right, her left hand. That's gonna swivel us back the other way. This time when we swivel, it's important I settle my weight strongly to the back of my right foot so that we can swivel and point without weight. Then I'm gonna bring the ladies in so we've got a good out pull connection right now. Invite her in, step out of her way, cross over. As we arrive shoulder to shoulder, I'll finish turning my shoulders to the right, which will turn the lady around, and I'll invite her to sidestep with me, followed by compressing in both hands, dropping your hips back and to the right to circle her around. Really important here, gentlemen, all you have to do is use pressure in the hands and your body action. You do not need to help by moving the hands as that will knock your partner off her balance. So we move our hips, leave the hands centered, compress into my right, her left hand, and we're going to free spin, picking up the next pattern. Okay, ladies, let's take a look at that from this angle this time. We have a crossover break, and then we're gonna do a chasse. Right now, as we close our feet, the man's increasing the pressure through our left hand to be able to swivel. Now we're gonna switch, swivel back the other direction. Now from here, it's a swivel and point with a strong pullback. Now from here, we have a really strong pull connection that we're gonna use to go past the man. He turns his shoulders to face and we follow him to the side. Now from here, there's even pressure in both hands. So what we're gonna do is follow him through whatever action he does. It happens to be a roll. Now from here, he increases the pressure into our left hand so we can free spin to finish the pattern.